Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Schlink, a self-hosted URL shortener, on Linux. To begin, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to install Schlink. Next, we'll add the PHP, GPG key, and apt repository, followed by an apt update to pull in the new package listing from the PHP repository. Now we use apt install to install the Apache 2 web server and MariaDB database backend, followed by another apt install to install PHP and the required PHP modules. Now we'll disable a few Apache modules and enable a few modules that are required for Schlink. Then we'll enable the PHP 8 FPM site configuration. Next, we'll elevate to a root shell using sudo su, then we'll execute the MySQL secure installation script. Follow the prompts to set a MySQL root password and mitigate known vulnerabilities. Now we'll connect to the MySQL database using the MySQL command line utility. Then using SQL commands, we'll create a new Schlink database, as well as a service account with full permissions to the new database. We'll flush MySQL privileges, then close the connection to MySQL and exit the root shell. Now we use wget to download the latest release of Schlink from GitHub. Then we'll extract the downloaded zip file to var www and rename the extracted folder to Schlink.io. We'll set ownership on the new Schlink.io folder to the www data group, then launch the Schlink.io command line installer. Enter one from MariaDB, then enter the database name Schlink.io. Leave the default database host and port Enter schlink.io underscore rw for the username, then the schlink.io rw password. Leave the Unix socket blank. Enter the domain name that will be used for shortened URLs. Enter 0 for HTTP. Accept the supply defaults for the next few prompts by pressing enter until you reach the prompt of what kind of redirect should be used. Enter 301 to use a 301 redirect. Then continue accepting the defaults until you're prompted about a safety check. Enter no at the safety check prompt and press enter. Type forward slash schlink.io as the path. Then press enter to accept the final default and begin the database initialization. Now we're ready to install the schlink.io web front end. Using wget, we'll download the latest release from GitHub. Then we'll extract the downloaded zip archive and move the extracted folder to the web root. Next, we'll create a new Apache site configuration file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the site configuration from the video description and save your changes and close the editor. Now we'll enable the new Schlink.io site and restart the Apache 2 service for the changes to take effect. And finally, we'll generate a Schlink.io API key. Copy the generated API key to your clipboard to be used later. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host. Click the Add Your First Server link. Enter a name for the new Schlink server, then enter the full URL to reach the server, including the forward slash Schlink.io path. Paste the API key we generated earlier in the API key field, then click Create Server. Welcome to Schlink.io, a self-hosted URL shortener running on your Linux host. I'll quickly create a few shortened URLs to show how Schlink.io works. Another cool feature of Schlink.io, beyond the shortened URLs, is it tracks usage statistics of the shortened URLs so you can see which URLs are getting the most traffic. 